was born in Manjimup, Western Australia, and lived on a farm till I was six. One day, when I was two, I found a pencil and began my art career drawing cows. Moo. When World War II began, the family moved to Perth and my dad joined the Navy. I continued drawing cows. Moo. Once I tried to draw a pig, but it looked just like a cow. Huh? When I left school, I went to Perth Tech to become a real artist. Got to draw nudes, but they still look like cows. Moo. After six months, I had learned to really draw. So I went looking for a job. I was lucky enough to get a job as an office boy at the West. And it wasn't long before I began doing funny drawings. Soon after, I was hired by Paul Rigby to be his understudy. Wow, what a great job. In 1959, I left the Daily News and sailed to Canada to learn animation. Without experience, it took me a year to get a job. But it wasn't long before I was animating TV commercials. It was a great thrill to see my characters come to life. I learned to animate in English Hello. and French Canadian. Bonjour. In 1964, I was hired by a TV station in Vancouver where I got to work on the Beatles TV series. I also married the beautiful Margaret. In 1967, I was hired by an art studio in Minneapolis to work in their animation department. It was a very professional studio and I learned a lot more about animation. 1970, another animator and I decided to open our own studio, which we called Bages Jones Film Corporation. Our studio began to get a national reputation and our list of clients grew. We worked with most of the leading agencies in the country. The studio grew also. We added a recording studio and a live action studio. Also, we opened an office in New York. In 1985, I split with my partner and changed the company name to Mike Jones Film Corporation. It was about this time I met the famous Australian cartoonist, Sean Leahy. <gasps> he came to study animation with us. Animating TV commercials, as well as having my own style, I had to draw other artists' characters. Always a challenge, but fun. Traditional 2D animation was the norm when I began animating in 1961, but by the 90s, computers took over and the animation camera and ink and paint were things of the past. All our commercials were now scanned and painted on the computer. Over the years, I've probably designed, directed, painted, and completed more than a thousand commercials. I closed the studio in 2002, and our family moved back to Australia. We continued working with a couple of our American clients for the next several years, but then 2D animation gave way to 3D. Traditional 2D animation was no longer in demand. Nowadays, I just animate for fun. The end.